As NHL general managers convened for their annual March meeting, discussions surrounding overtime format dominated the agenda. A notable revelation emerged during the gathering, the NHL is set to achieve a record-breaking 70% of extra-time games concluding in overtime this season. The surge in overtime conclusions raises questions about the effectiveness of the current 3-on-3 OT format. Some GMs have voiced concerns, citing excessive regrouping and limited offensive opportunities. In response, a subset of GMs engaged in a focused discussion during a breakout session, contemplating potential adjustments to present to the broader group. Ultimately, the consensus among GMs leaned towards maintaining the existing overtime format. Despite acknowledging room for improvement, there's a prevailing sentiment that altering the format could lead to unintended consequences, potentially undermining its primary purpose of reducing shootouts. Lou Lamoriello, general manager of the New York Islanders, expressed confidence in the effectiveness of the current system. Lamoriello emphasized that unless regrouping significantly contributed to shootouts, there's little justification for alterations. The evolution of NHL overtime spans four decades, marked by successive attempts to enhance competitiveness and excitement. From the introduction of Sudden Death 5-on-5 OT in 1983 to the implementation of shootouts in 2005, the league has continually adapted its approach. However, concerns emerged over time regarding excessive ties or shootout conclusions. The transition to 3-on-3 OT in 2015 aimed to address these issues, initially characterized by fast-paced action. Yet, players gradually adopted a more possession-oriented strategy, leading to debates over the balance between action and control. General managers previously discussed overtime dynamics during their November meeting, setting the stage for further deliberations. While there's consensus on the desire for more exciting gameplay, determining how to achieve it without disrupting flow remains a challenge. Proposals such as prohibiting puck movement beyond certain lines or imposing time restrictions face practical hurdles and potential rule complexities. Moreover, adopting formats from other leagues, like the ECHL 7-Minute OT, raises questions about feasibility and impact. Amidst these discussions, some GMs advocate for maintaining the status quo, highlighting the inherent suspense and unpredictability of current overtime scenarios. Despite occasional periods of prolonged possession, the potential for sudden shifts in momentum adds to the excitement of overtime play. As the NHL continues to explore options for enhancing overtime dynamics, the consensus remains clear. While improvements are desirable, any changes must preserve the thrilling and unpredictable nature of the game's most decisive moments.